So Farber disease is an autosomal recessive lysosomal storage disease and it's due to a deficiency of an enzyme called acid ceramidase. This leads to an accumulation of, of certain toxic fats or ceramides uh, that we find in the body and this causes uh, multi-systemic uh, involvement, meaning uh, the disease affects a lot of different organ systems. In the classical case of a patient that presents with the full-blown disease, they present very early on with problems in terms of moving their hands because of inflammation and also they get these nodules on the um, extensor surfaces or backs of their hands but also elsewhere in their body. The nodules are also found on the vocal cords so when they cry they have a hoarse cry. Um, the classical form of this disease is very uh, severe and the babies have a lot of pain with movement and that's often why the, pa the parents come to us because when they try to move the bo uh, baby to uh, change the diaper or to feed them they, the babies are crying. So in that severe disorder it uh, really affects the quality of life, it affects the way the babies sleep, it affects the way um, that mother interacts and there's really not a lot of treatment that we can do for that. Um, unfortunately as well, uh, these toxic lipids accumulate in the brain and uh, the babies will eventually have developmental regression and often will die of uh, respiratory dis uh, disease in their second to third year of life. So it's quite a bad disease, um, but there's a lot of heterogeneity as well, meaning that uh, some patients can prevent, uh, present much later than uh, those neonates, uh, the newborns. They can present at four years or eight years. And of the later presenting um, individuals, they, um, they might have milder manifestations. They might have some joint involvement and swelling, but they don't get the neurological involvement at that time. Right now, there's really not a lot of therapeutic choices. Um, Standard medication that's used for rheumatology patients don't really seem to do much. Um, we have had some benefits with some of the biologics that are used for rheumatological diseases such as tocilizumab and this can decrease the pain in these patients but it does nothing to prevent the progression of the disease. Transplantation has been used as well in a small number of patients and that can deal with some of the um, the nodules and the, and the arthritis, but again it doesn't do anything to change the uh, developmental regression. So we're really lacking uh, good therapies and uh, we need something that works a lot better than what we have.